you're doing thanks for joining me welcome back so today i'm doing another one of my segments of what i'm liking and not so much so if you guys are interested in hearing what the likes are and maybe what the not so much likes are then keep on watching all right so today i don't have a whole lot of products I don't feel I have a whole lot of products, but let's just get right into it. So the first product I had mentioned before on my channel uh, several times, and it has been in a lot of my favorites and likes and things like that, but I just have to give it another mention because I do think it's a great product and it works really well and does what it says it's going to do. And that is this lemon rinse. It's a gentle clarifying treatment, it prevents frizz, it seals in moisture, seals the cuticles, maintaining a healthy scalp. Um, this stuff here, like if you don't like lemons, you're not gonna like it. But it has a nice citrusy lemon, fresh lemon scent to it. And it's a clear liquid. You wash your hair, and then after you wash your hair, you condition your hair, do your normal routine on that. After you rinse out from the conditioner, you then saturate your hair with this product here and work it into your scalp and just work all around and through the ends and all through the hair. And it actually removes a lot of the product buildup that you get maybe from the hairspray, the mousse, the gels, creams, whatever you put in your hair. And, and through, you know, cause shampoo and conditioning, any of that kind of stuff, it gets rid of that um, product. And every time I feel like I use it and do it on my hair anyway, it feels, um, it feels really clean. You can, I can totally tell that it's doing something and my hair feels um, just more fresh, more like, like, yeah, like I took a lot of weight off my, you know, off my scalp, off my hair, of probably all the products that weighs it down after, after a while, um, even though you wash it. So it even has here, it build, uh, boosts volume and everything. It's for all hair types. So even for color treated hair, or anything like that it even has here um, now you can purchase them at Target I noticed lately and then also on amazon.com and they do have their own site the company is actually called beautiful nutrition that's the company right there um, this was a product that was sent to me a while back ago I just I love it I would definitely repurchase this so this is a very much liked product Okay, perfume scents. This I have in a ro roller ball. I wouldn't mind getting the full on uh, bottle, but you know, sometimes they can be quite pricey. Uh, so I use the roller ball. This one is uh, from Prada Candy. It's the Florel, Florel one. It's the more floral one. This I love so much, which I need to put some stuff on now anyway. So. But I love it a lot because it's just that perfect scent that I really, really, really enjoy. Um, and it feels so, it, it smells like a scent right now, for right now for summer. Perfect scent for summer. But this is probably my favorite. I smelled the Prada Candy and I just thought it was okay, the regular one. But this one I love. Um, I'm not sure. I think they do have another one. But this one I really, really love. So... Okay, let's get into some makeup um, for a foundation. It's crazy. This was sent to me with an influencer kind of a thing, I think. And um, it's the CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation. It came with that applicator that was like a rubberized looking thing. And you were supposed to use it to apply the foundation. And this is supposed to help, like, if you do have any hair fuzzies or hair on your face it's supposed to help smooth it like you know smooth them down or something like that I don't know because I mainly I do get rid of my little fuzzies on my face with little razors and things like that so I don't know if it really does that um but and the applicator was was kind of gimmicky it didn't work for me and it did seem kind of gimmicky and Pretty much just what it was. I I didn't even see the point in that rubberized um, product, but it, like for CoverGirl, I've had the worst time with CoverGirl foundations. I'm not gonna lie, I I have, 
And this one surprised me because, um, like, I had forgotten about it. You know, like, one of them products, again, like, you forget about it and you're thinking, oh, okay. And I want to use up some of the products I have right now. So that is what I'm wearing right now. And I do really like it. It does, it's not a matte foundation, um, but it's not too glowy of a foundation. I would feel like it's in between a little bit because it does seem to give somewhat of a subtle a sheen or something a healthy look maybe something like that so if you get a chance i would say try the ultra smooth um especially mature ladies i think it has an olay i think it has olay in it like a serum from olay in it as well maybe that's the other thing that makes it kind of i don't know work great for me and for a um concealer which sadly this concealer here um she doesn't sell anymore. It's from Mally Beauty Cosmetics, and it was her cancellation conditioning concealer, which you can't even see her name on it anymore because I wore it off that badly. It's a very thick, heavy-duty concealer. Now, she does have her cancellation concealer that, but this was her conditioning one, and it was it, it's a really thick concealer. I don't think she makes this anymore. I haven't seen it. I do know she has a new phone or a new concealer uh, some kind of lighting lighting concealer. I haven't tried it, so I don't know too much about it. But, um, you know, like I said, I'm going through some of my products that I haven't used for a while. I'm trying to use them up. Oh, and a brush. I keep forgetting some of these brushes to mention. This is the It Cosmetics big brush that you get, um, that Vitality Disc. You get it with that, or you can get it by itself. But it's kind of worth it if you get that disc. And the brush together because this brush alone i believe is almost close to 50 bucks something like that and the disc is around what is it 30 40 dollars i forget now it has been too long since i've had them but i love this one for the face like just oh it is a very very nice brush they do have awesome brushes from it cosmetics and this one is no exception i mean and then this here i've been using a lot with the foundation and these two together wowzy um this is the wet and wild color icon uh, reserve your cabana it's the one that a lot of people use for a highlight more than a bronzer it's supposed to be a bronzer but um more people use it as a highlight that's kind of what i've always used it as myself and I do put it all over on my face and pat it on through and everything. Um, I don't know, it just gives this nice glow. And so I've been really enjoying that product. Um, a product that I'm not so much, I'm, I'm not getting it to work how I want it to work. I haven't really tried it in a foundation. I might have to use it in a foundation and use it that way, maybe. Um, but it is the Rimmel Good to Glow Highlighter Illuminator. This one's in Nothing Hill Glow. Um, they have several of these. I do believe they have like a peachy one and more of a pink one. It's more white, like, um, like a white cream. And you know, if I rub it on here, you're going to see a nice glow, but I feel like when I put it on my cheeks, because, you know, like you see a nice glow there, but I feel like when I'm putting it on my cheeks, it's not really doing anything, no matter what I'm doing. I don't know what, if I'm doing something wrong or what, I mean, there you see the beautiful glow, but it's just not working on my cheeks. I can't explain it. It just doesn't work there too well. Um, it's not giving the glow that I'm looking for. I don't know. Maybe it's the consistency of the product. I'm wondering. And then I have a couple more products here. Uh, quite a few wet and wild products actually, because I showed you that, um, reserve your cabana, but I wanted to mention this. This is, this was from their limited edition. Um, it's the new romantics. Uh, you might still be able to get this little palette in you know, your um, Rite Aids or anything like that. That's where I found mine anyhow. Um, the main color I want to mention here, though, is this purple shade. And that is what I had on one of my other videos. I'm trying to even think of what video it was that I had up. And I had so many people compliment uh, my eye look. And it is just such a beautiful shade. I love that purple shade. And I wore that and. Uh, the other shades are pretty too, the pink and the white, 
but that purple shade is what really good. I, as you can tell, I am a purple gal. And then the other product that kind of surprised me, and it's also from the limited edition, these, this highlighter here, it's the Desert Explorations uh, Geometric Highlighter Powder. And I was like, because mm, like, it gives a nice subtle glow. It's not like if you're someone that really likes the bam highlight in your face, you're definitely, you're not going to like this. If you're someone that really, really loves your highlight and you want that whoa color um right there it is you, not not that one but this one right here and it does give a subtle sheen glow but i was really liking this i would put it on after everything actually working with the foundation and everything again it was like this whole combination was working so well and i ended up really liking this because it does give that subtle glow and because I'm not all about, I like a highlighter and sometimes I like my highlighter to be a little more intense, but not over too much because sometimes I just don't feel like it looks right on me, but I do like a nice highlighter that gives a nice, you know, look, but this one really gives a nice subtle look. And it was really, it was really nice. It actually surprised me. And then the last product, I'm going to talk about because I wasn't sure on this neither. It's one of the Rimmel. Um, this is the golden bronze, the Rimmel, Rimmel where you get the blush, bronzer, and highlight. I wasn't really sure how well I was going to like this. Um, the other two are, I'm not sure. Like the other one, the bronzer looks too light, and I don't know if it would really work on my skin. I don't know if it would work on anybody's skin, to be honest. It, looks too light it might but it just looks too light to me and I like this one because a good matte bronzer is really good and I know that looks dark but honestly it works so great on my skin like it's a nice nice color for a bronzer for me I am not about the orange color ish bronzers um, I do have some of them and at first I thought they were good ones but this bronzer here is really nice and the blush is beautiful it's a nice peach glow of a blush right there it is i would say if you if you did get one of these ones i would say get this one the golden bronze there's the highlight in it um highlight's not extremely noticeable but i would say out of the three if it was me i would say get the golden bronze one i think that one's more worth it all right beauties so that is everything thank you so much for joining me if you guys liked this video please give it a thumbs up that would help me out so much and i so appreciate that very much and if you are not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and you can join me each week and as always beauties please remember to be yourself love yourself and let the ruby shine through so until the next time you take care bye we'll see you then bye love you guys bye